we jump to Tinkercad, sign in. Next, I'm going to go to create new circuit. I've already created a, a template for what the end result is. So you're going to you're going to start with this basic circuit and then you're going to kind of build it into uh, a series circuit and a parallel circuit using the buttons. Uh, first thing we need is Arduino. And then we need a breadboard. In case you don't remember, like when it's highlighted, you can turn it using this button here. And then some of you are like, well, how do I know if it's right side up? Well, the letters are upright. Can it still work if it's upside down? Absolutely. Now, just just a, a real quick about breadboards. So with a breadboard, you have your positive, you have your negative. This positive, it's shorted all the way through. It's all the way through, but pretty much if I run electricity and I can go five volts here and if I check that here, watch this. So positive here, negative to ground. This is just an example. Black. So I check the voltage you'll see that the electricity is running from the five volts here and it's all the way through. So I can run voltage to any one of these um, as much as I would like. And of course the same thing for the negative, it's, it's, it's all the way through. So I can ground anywhere I want. You have to think, well, wait a minute, what about this plus? Is it also connected? Well, let's find out, shall we? It's its own entity. So I can have two different voltages on the same circuit. All right. So just to keep that in mind. And then the same thing happens. I'm going to change this to red because this is actually a part of it. The same thing happens when you are running parallel with each other. So it's asking for resistor. Resistors are up here. Drag it. It's horizontal. It's a 220 and it's on pin seven and it's horizontal. So I'm going to first turn it and remember resistors are not, they don't have a positive or negative. It's just terminal one, terminal two. So I can have it backwards. It will work exactly the same. You obviously want to make, want to make it look neat. So if you have your resistors like that, you want to make sure that you follow that same concept. You don't want to have some resistors going this way and some going that way. It looks real tacky. It looks like when you look at the board, it gets real confusing because when you read the colors, you want to be able to read them right. It's like, what is this? This is a one, zero, and then zero, zero. So that's uh, 1000. But according to this, it wants a 220. So we have a 220. I rotated it. And according to, so pin eight, here and here but basically yeah you're gonna have to it, if it's like that you're gonna have to turn it to where the anode is connected to the positive part and the cathode is going to come out the negative negative. and you'll see what I'm talking about once I connect it so right now the electricity is running from the 5 volts into this positive terminal into the resistor which is the 220 ohm through this line in the anode out the cathode and now we just need to close it up so that I'm going to add a line and uh, this one's going to go from nine and honestly I can connect it anywhere and it'll work but I'm going to follow it here and I'm going to convert that to black because that's my negative what's going to happen is oh, I'm going to turn it on and nothing's going to happen because I just realized that he connect my negative lead. So uh, I'm going to connect negative here to my ground. And I'm going to turn that to black too. Now it should work. So my, just to recap, positive energy, electricity is running this positive into the, the resistor, the 220 ohm. 
in my anode, out my cathode. Like just think A before C, right? It's just that's an easy way to remember it. A before C, A is positive. Uh, and then out the cathode, down this line, into negative, negative going to ground, right? So if I click this, it should turn on. Boom. Done. So this one is, is not the final product. Just to recap, uh, if I were to switch them around and do it backwards, it's not going to work because on this picture, the, the anode is here. You know what I mean? It's just a picture. Don't look at that. Look at how it's bent. The bend is the anode. So let me come back over here. Let me switch it back. There's the bend, bend is anode. We're kind of there. And if we jump back to the next section, uh, this is kind of what's happening, right? The five volts are coming into the 220, into the LED and into ground. That's exactly what we're doing in this. This is schematic view, by the way. Uh, so let's go ahead and introduce the switch because this is where the, the fun stuff part start, starts happening. And, if you remember a couple of lessons, we were talking about the toggle switch and this one's actually a push button. So it's, it's, it's called a momentary. I'm surprised they don't call it. It's a momentary switch, meaning that it is only active if you're touching it. And a lot of stuff we have is momentary. I mean, if you look at your phones, your phones are momentary. Here, you'll see that the terminals are on the top and the bottom. So obviously if I put them here, they're not going to reach across, right? They don't reach. So what am I going to have to do? I'm going to have to turn them. So I'm going to go ahead and put the switch. So the electricity is coming positive into the 220, into the momentary. It's going gonna, it's gonna to connect from here to terminal. These two are going to connect when I push the button. And then I need a line from here to terminal 13 uh, and then back to this guy and then that's on 14 down to negative I'm gonna turn that to black 5 volts positive 220 into terminal 1 it's interesting because it says look it says terminal 1a terminal 2a from 10 it goes into here into the anode out the cathode into ground so click on start Obviously, uh, if I push this, yep, there you go. It works. So when I push the button, it turns my LED on. And it only holds it as a momentary switch. This is the simple switch. You know how to use the tools now. You know how to use the resistor and all that stuff. You can actually uh, start creating the series circuit. So unfortunately, it's not going to really work because it, I can't press two buttons at the same time, but we're still gonna make it. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna delete this guy. Delete this guy. And add another switch. Rotate. Oh, I rotated too much. Uh, this one's on terminal 12. There we go. And then I'm gonna connect these two. So here, here, red. Uh, does it matter the color? It really doesn't, but you want to color code your circuits all the time. So from 14 to 17, LED, and then this is coming out of 18 to ground. And I'll turn that to black. So now if I turn it on, I it doesn't work because in order for the circuit to work, you need to have both of them being pressed, right? So in this one, the five volts come into the 220 ohm. And if I press the first push button, um, the, the circuit's gonna wanna go, but this one's open. So the circuit doesn't close, so the LED doesn't work. So yeah, it's just the way it goes. All I did was leave that there, put series circuit, Arduino, second breadboard, and run the same thing. So. This time I'm going to just zoom into that one. Oh, I'm going to label it. Label. 
This one's going to be a parallel circuit. Parallel circuit. I always need a 5 volts here, turn it to red. Ground here, turn it to black. So now we have positive negative into our breadboard. Next thing, my resistor, rotate, make sure it's 220. Maybe another one? Yeah, I could, but that's not what the lesson asked for. Uh, eight. Eight. Positive. Boom. Uh, I'm going to do the switches next. Come on, that's funny. Uh, Twelve. And then the LED. Okay, so then this one's going to go to 17. All right, so I have my main stuff already there. And honestly, if you were building a circuit, like first you start with the big stuff. You start with capacitors, then you start with the LEDs, and then you do the resistors, and you kind of work your way in. And then if you have any wiring, you do the wiring last. And usually you start with the positive stuff of the wiring, and then you work your way to the negative. That way, as you're doing the wiring, if you need to like test stuff with uh, with a meter, you can do that. You know, if you don't have the other stuff there, then you can't really troubleshoot your circuit. Um, but now we have kind of have the foundation, right? So next thing is it's asking for from seven to 12 and then from 14 to 17. And this is kind of like the jump for it, right? This is what's happening here. It's like it's allowing for that jump to switch between both of those circuits. So. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, no, not seven. I said seven, but I'm going to say eight to 12, which is eight to 12. It's red. It's positive energy. 17. Also red. I wish I could set this to default. 10, which is the negative part of the terminal, terminal A. 10. 17 red and then then right here to ground black so then if I press start you'll see that there's two different ways for the electricity to go through in my parallel circuit pretty cool right boom 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 so when I press this one, what's happening? I'm having positive energy into my resistor, into, into this terminal one, out terminal two to, to 10, where it's at, right? And then it comes to my LED in my anode, out my cathode into, into negative, right? So what happens when I press this one? It's going positive ohm resistor 220, but this time it's 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 skipping terminal one. It's going into this switch. It goes out here into here to, to 12, and then terminal one out to terminal two, and it goes out 14 down into the anode, out the cathode, into ground. 